Hello Nina. Hi. I'm back for a new summer haircut by Theo. And yes. we have a new background. Yes. So uh, let's see what we have to do. Very uh, 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 at rest uh, uh, background. Yeah. Okay, we turn for you in the rest of the world to show how your hair is now. I think I'm going for ultra blonde and ultra thin. And ultra short. Yes. Okay, let's start. Hello friends on YouTube. We come to Nina's hair. You already hear that at the front of course of my video. I start with projection like I always do. And Nina is sitting now in my old barber's chair. So we didn't start with that because then you can, can turn uh, real nice. But now she is sitting in that chair. And this chair is uh, even as old as I am. <laughs> 100 years old. <laughs> No, it's not. Almost. From the Stone Age. <laughs> so, pak haar, hè? Ja. Die onderlaag is ook lang geworden, zo. Ja. Jezus. Brush out gel. I'm going to. Bleached hair, but that with uh, ammonia free bleach, but that I'll tell you when I start with that. First I start with the sides, make it ultra short, make a disconnect because now it's summertime and her hair beneath it is very thick and she loves short hair so that word is also getting short then takes a little away a lot of the weight of the upper hair that we thin out and make a nice shape in it. This uh, video I only come to work with clippers of uh, Kiona. It's a new uh, uh, clipper on the market, a small clipper. This one, it comes with two, uh, uh, two clipper heads. One with uh, steel blades and one with cer ceramic blades. So uh, that's the difference. And the ceramic blades uh, don't irritate the skin at all. But they are very nice and gentle and soft cutting. So that's what on the market new. I show you photos behind in the video. Start with a uh, large clipper. What I like about this clipper is that it don't uh, hurry you up. It's very nice of sound. <laughs> Put my blades in the combing position so it's ultra short. Leaning with the sides on the skin and put it in an angle of uh, one o'clock. It's easier to tell you by the clock in which angle I work, then in degrees. Now I need some water to put away the longer hair, keeping in between. More hairs. I'm going to bend my line, so I work to the longest part, but I give it a new shape. I'm going to work from the crown, over the center of the skull, above the skull bone part that aside. Her hair is growing ultra fast so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> the growing is always okay. Creating a new line. Make it not ultra hard because I want to keep in contact with the line I'm cutting. So when I put the upper hair over it I will connect to it. 
So the hair travels from nothing to something, about a centimeter, one and a half, but still is ultra short. But the grow back of that is much nicer than ultra short. You can see this all also on this hairstyle because it's yeah now I think three months out and still wonderful. For a lot of you it will do for short hair. <laughs> You hear how nice soft this clipper is. For example, I can, can let you hear the, the sound of a uh, Panasonic clipper, then you know the difference. This is the sound of a Panasonic clipper, so it hurries you up a lot. It's just like a, a little motorbike <laughs> wants to travel 200 kilometers an hour. And then you have this one. It's, it's more at rest and works a lot easier. Even when the hair is this short, I want to keep it in a wonderful natural fall. So I follow the lines of her skull. I know that by now because I did a lot of hairstyles on her. And you're still talking about the Christmas hairstyle. <laughs> because I see it every week coming by yeah. with comments. Again, put the blades in the corner position and make an ultra soft connection to the upper hair. That's super, super chill. Mm -hmm. Heel Again, put my blade in the comb position. Just gently work it up. Clean the blades in between. Do this with my fingers. And it's wonderful to have such a sharp nape line, especially for summertime. Now come to the long part. Now you see that this hair is all grow, growing back in this in this uh, period. But that's a lot of hair for her. It is. <laughs> so I wet the upper hair, not a bit, but I wet it. And now I'm going to find me a perfect line to go to the back and travel out. Take a moon shape uh, line and I leave it here in, a, in an angle, but that you see afterwards when I go to connect the upper hair. And this part will be also ultra short. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> I like it, I like it! Please cut it up. <laughs> On this part, I make the lines to the upper hair rounder, so the upper hair will lay nicely falling over this line. It's a totally different line than on her left side, but there the lines walk up and will be a part of the structure of the upper hair. 
and this part the hair may hang down but that's what is going ultra short even on top Dit is wel een vracht haar wat er nu weer af is. Ja. Echt veel. Maar dit is ook wel lekker daar. Het is lekker luchtig. Ja, dus ik voel het nou al als fijn. Ja. Dat is echt ook... Je voelt gewoon zo'n pak haar bovenop je hoofd. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're talking about the amount of hair she has. And when she has a, a longer hair, it feels uh, very warm on, on, on the skin. So, when you're used to have short hair it's very hard to let it grow because yeah, it never feels that fine than with short hair now, 11 o'clock position I connect the skin and the lines of the skin to the upper hair because when I do that on that side in a one o'clock at that position is this the opposite line of it clean the lines in between with my new and latest Kiona clipper I clean the contour now using the metal blades it works very gently and the same as the large one yeah it's not a hurry up feeling so you can easily work with it take your time there's a new battery in it and this lasts for almost a week with out recharging and it comes with uh, five clipper combs now what I do now is I just watch how the lines travel and you see when I lay it aside it's a wonderful way to get over to the other side so I correct this line now I'm going to take away a little bit of this weight. So you see when I lean it back, it starts here. And I lay it in the same line as I cut the hair. Take away a little bit of water because water is irritating the skin. It tees it. Just give it a nice shape. And when I lay it now back, the hair will be yeah, much nicer to the other side. So that's why I did that. And now I'm going to take that line. I parted the hair in the line of cutting because the underlines lay about one and a half centimeter from that. Lay the hairs in natural fall. Want to keep the length at the front, take away a little bit of the length beneath it. And every line I cut is a little bit longer than the line I'm now cutting. Connecting to the back, search for a connection line. Holding the angle, lay it from the left to the right, from the right to the left. So use the, the cross control. Take a new line on it. Now the second line is a little bit longer, just a half centimeter by five millimeters. The nice thing that 
I can see now is that all the hair is being cut. So I have perfect hair after all. <laughs> Mooi, mooi, mooi. Okay, coming to the left side. Here I can see my connection and cut this line almost in the same line as I did on the other side. I'm pointing on her tip of the lips. So that's my connection for my eyes. I only have to work till I get on the half of her head. And now you see all the parts that I did on the other side. And you can already see that they are connecting to each other. So now I'm certain that all the lines are similar to each other and working together, not against each other. So now I just have to thin it out a bit. A bit. <laughs> I want thinning out. I want a bit. Yeah, that's a bit. Okay. For this, I take a thinning scissor. This one, what for thinning scissor? The nice thing about this is that you don't see the lines of cutting, but I'm certain it thins out. Stay away from the first line of cutting because then the hairs can lay to the other side without sticking out. And make it nice ultra thin. This makes the hair also more playable and you need less styling products. So do the total hair. So now you see the hair is alpha thin, so I can easily comb it through. Now just what hair is this? I just walk my past my line, give it a slight graduation so I get a better fall into the hair. Not too much, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Now I'm going to make uh, ammonia free bleach. This will be of uh, Goldwell. It's uh, KMS in the States. You can see the products uh, after the video on the photos. We'll work with 9% sturdy volume. And of course, I use a little bit of fire blood. So far, cutting. Put on the protection uh, to color Nina's hair, or the decolor Nina's hair. What I told you, I made uh, a gold well bleach without ammonia, and I put in a fire blood. I put in also a conditioner, like I always do. I'm going to apply it on the hair. Start in the longer hair. And because it's ammonia free I can work uh, to the skin. You don't have to stay away from that. Because ammonia irritates the skin. But when there is no ammonia in it, it don't irritate the skin. Easy as that.
I also want to show you the strength of this uh, bleach. This will also be in a photo in the back of the film with the other photos. It's very nice to also work with it because it don't irritate my eyes or nothing. I can breathe normally. It's blue! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm a smurf, I'm a smurf. I'll lay the hair a little bit free so it has a lot of space to work. Don't have to stick on the head. And by the conditioner, you can see that it is very smoothy to work with it. That's also nice, it don't dry in that fast. I take carton wick, like I always do, put it on the contour line. Small part at the front and a part on the back. Take off my cloth and we'll close my plastic for it. <laughs> <laughs> Play the trumpet! <laughs> Second on the video. <laughs> okay, we're back. It took um, 30 minutes to make her uh, this ultimate blonde. Put on the silver toner that I did uh, from uh, Goldwell, a 10 V. Now this is the sleeky version, and we made photos of it, so you see it afterwards in the photo session. So now I'm going to dry it and to show how wonderful this hairstyle is for her. It can go both ways, left and right. But that you see. What I use is uh, from Roll for Hair, Headway. It's uh, a smooth, just a small amount because I want a sleeky uh, hairstyle. The hair is in a wonderful condition. I, I love the bleach of, uh, of Goldwell, it's, it's a wonderful product and no irritation at all at the skin. Blow dry it with an ultra light brush. I don't want uh, movement into the hair, just sleepy feelings. Super mooi conditie hè, ja. Het is mega zacht. Ja, het is echt uh, super, super zacht. Talking about the condition of the hair. The hair is in a wonderful condition. It's ultra soft. And still ultra strong, because it's the most important thing. So far blow drying. Also a new small uh, straight iron to show you. It's available by uh, uh, Gione also. This nice thing about this one is that it comes with, uh, comes with a heat protected glove so you don't burn your hands when you would do longer hair. The nice thing about uh, such a small tool is that it is very easy to work with. You can polish the hair wonderful with it. Ceramic blades.
show nicely there at close. Okay, what I use now is uh, from the summer protection line of uh, Goldwell, a protecting spray. Nothing more than that, it brings out wonderful the condition of the hair, gives glow, gives protection against uh, sunburn and heat. And it brings also the roughness into the hair again. So I love to have a playable hairstyle. And it gives also a lot of strength to the hair. This comes in a, a package with uh, three products into a nice uh, summer bag, orange color. I also make a photo of that. And this is Nina's new hairstyle and color. Yeah. Yay! Okay Nina, will you show this hairstyle and new color to the world? I don't have to ask you if you like short hair because that, that you do. <laughs> Feels a little bit like summertime? Yes, it does. And how does your skin feel? Soft. Soft. And your yeah. hair also? Yeah. Okay, thank you for modeling. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Ervaar de kunst van knippen. Kapper, zegt u het maar, vindt u op de Haterseweg 115 in Nijmegen. Telefoon 024 355 9044. Of maak zelf een afspraak op www.zegtuhetmaar.info. Kapper, zegt u het maar, dat is meer dan gewoon je haar laten doen. Wij zijn ook te vinden op YouTube onder Theo Knoop Kapper. Of op Facebook onder Kapper, zegt u het maar.